Hey MechWarrior, welcome aboard. Opal plays MechWarrior 5, all four DLCs, career mode, and we are modded. Um, we're still here in the Winfield system, having just finished uh, the X marks the spot, um, mission number two. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the transmissions and pick up mission three. Repair our battle mechs from the last... Uh, Yep, I gotta slide him over now, right? Before I get repair all. Make sure, yeah, he's been stripped. Haul him on over. Do a repair all. And we're going to iCar. Now, I'm not particularly worried about this guy being in this zone, because he ain't coming. I really don't see him coming. He's got light medium mechs if he does. But so far, no mercenaries dropped into a campaign mission, high reward quest, or anything, as far as I am aware. So, we'll go on up there and finish these guys off. <clears throat> if you watched the last uh, episode, you noticed that uh, mission number two of this had 80 kills. Everywhere from VTOLs to tanks, turrets, and mechs. 80 of them. That's a lot. That's a lot. Good kill count. So here we are. Check out the contract. 75 at 340 still. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep the same mech group I had last time. We're doing a pretty darn good job. This one is, I believe, a... Uh, Demolition, in which case my mechs are pretty good set up for it anyhow. Especially if I put the uh, SRM6 streaks I'm wearing on my DH um, into single fire mode, chain fire mode. So let's swoop in there and pick up my 3.2 million bucks. I won't put them into... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I won't put them into chain fire mode until the uh, defending forces have been handled. Still preparing, but I'm going to go ahead and hit that ready button anyhow. We can watch the skulls spin together. You know, the good thing about streaks is that they're not a shotgun blast, it's one after the other. And according to the write-ups, they're more accurate because of that, but also when you're doing a demolition mission you can spray across by simply, you know, moving the cursor and get a lot of building all at once. Of course you have to think about it while you're doing it, but hey, you're already doing that with lasers, aren't you? I mean, not so much the uh, LBX-10 I got, but I thought of it real hard, I'd also put the lasers in chain fire mode and do the same thing with them. Independently fire. Take out lots of buildings. Seems like we've got the trust of Yaros. We've been requested to take out a comms relay. Here's the decoded message. All right, Merc, we have the goods loaded and ready for transport. However, there's one complication that we need to take care of. In order for us to successfully get these supplies back to our home base, we need a certain affection-controlled monitoring station taken offline until we get through their controlled space. You need to run a diversionary assault on their monitoring station while we make our supply run home. Do well. We can meet face to face to discuss future plans. Make your way to the Mort's location and take out those radar dishes and any other targets of opportunity. We need to keep them busy and focused on us to give Yaros enough time to get through colonial space. be 
VTOL took a long time to fall, didn't it? Must have auto gyroed right in. Sucked for the pilot, I guess. Then. Thankfully, it's just a game. Yeah, I really did destroy all that double it down. Just a couple shots, didn't I? Oops, had a run. Target 
destroyed. What do you all think? I think the AS7 hyphen DH is a uh, killer. I likes it. One of my favorite mechs. Unfortunately, it's, it's unseemingly rare. And somehow it's the first DH or the first Atlas that uh, came up from during this uh, walkthrough. LRM 10 for 3. That's a winner because it's a tier 4. 12 point, 9 points left. Too bad. I gotta skip the crab, don't I? They got tore it up pretty bad anyway. Yeah, I did. Well, they did. I'm just gonna walk down the. Not bad damage overall. Not bad. Everybody's doing their jobs. That's the important part. Didn't get anything more on this though. I don't think. Well. Repair all. I meant it. There we go. Home. Part four. Star's end, right? Yep, star's end. Clicking, clicking. Thirteen days. I assume you guys have seen this. It's an ambush on Yaros, not by Yaros. And we get to fight off uh, his enemies. And take some salvage from him as well. It's a 90, 380. Oh boy. That means I can jump up. Uh, so my heavy mix into something a little more comfortable for them. And number one choice will be the Black Knight. And we will put her in... <coughs> Excuse me. I don't think anybody's ever taken the uh, RS out yet. But, I will take the Boar's out. And... You can take the RS. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little more long distance on this one than I want the Atlas A for. The A is good, but uh, it's close up swinging. <coughs> Excuse me. And I will take the uh, extra five tons for. 5%. Most of the time I don't do that just to have enough tonnage. Most of the time I do that because it's just easier. And I'm not hurting from it. The way I play, I almost never wind up hurting from it. Except at the very, very beginning for about four missions and then it's all good. Set up this meeting in the hope of luring us into his merry band of cutthroats. Watch your back, Commander. You can't trust him. This pirate only looks out for one person, and that's himself. Our flyby has revealed that this station is more of a storage facility than a military outpost. He's 
talking about is in the back of this base. I'll mark it on your map. It's already marked, Brianna. Many times I've played this mission, I've always figured if I had to take out his enemies and then him, I could. I'd just stand back and let the enemies wipe him, and then I'd wipe out his enemies. Or just straight up take him out. up in a group on you. You're bouncing off walls and the whatever this place is. Base, depot, pirate haven. chain fire. Ah, 
seven leg. Timing's a little off again, isn't it? Damn you, pirate bastards! I'll see you in hell! That seems to be the last of the Confederation's raiding party. <laughs> That'll teach those bastards to mess with the likes of us! They're showing out there today, Merc! You have the makings of a pirate really king yourself! I'll pretend I didn't hear that. That's the hardest hit one right there. We'll take Nothing. Nothing but on the way to relocate. Something tells me Henry Graham won't take this defeat lightly. We fulfilled our contract. Now let's get the hell out of here, Commander. I've had enough of pirates for one day. Good money, good salvage. And the actual employer on that was ex was a uh, our good friend. Uh, the hell's his name? Interstellar Expeditions. I want to say Stern, but that ain't right. Anyhow, mission completed. Don't need any salvage. Ooh, that's a nice AC20 though. I, I just don't don't favor them. I'm gonna take that because I know I'll sell it right away. Good damage, good damage, good killing. Not too much. Like I said, the boar's hound. Boar's hound. Ah, jeez. Boar's hound took the most uh, damage, but even then, nothing. Nothing internal, and that's what matters. Because sitting out here in Never Never Land, it's the internals that really hurt. So, I'll sell this guy. Yeah, I'm just going to hit repair all, but then I'm going to stop it on the, uh, on this one, because that's just going to be too much to do. That's a UAV carrier. Who knew? Mm -hmm. 75 days. But see, I don't want them outfitted like original, so we'll stop it. An AC-20 would come in handy. AC-20 and a heavy rifle. Large chem laser. And an LRM-10. Two large chem lasers. I'll replace those with real ones get rid of the ammo. The engine double heat sinks is uh, unfortunately damaged or destroyed. I can't do a loadout because of where I'm at. Which is way out here, Never Neverland. So we're gonna go on our way to Ben Singer. And this is to pick up the GTE for. I forget what his name was, Bandit? We'll find out when we get there, because it'll come up again. I'm only 24 minutes in, so I'm gonna go ahead and run this one. My necks are good to go except for him. I'm tempted to throw him over into cold storage because I don't think that actually strips anyway. Here's a funny thing for you though. Notice he's 97 pounds of 90 or 97 tons out of 95, so he's overweight as he is. How does that happen? Uh, pirate mech? Yeah, pirate tech, I guess. I, I, you got to fix that before you can go on. You can't just hit repair on that. Yeah. Show you what I mean. You just go start work. And you can't. Over tonnage. So. 
we'll take them somewhere else and fix them up. <coughs> Excuse me. As it sits, if I just do them the same way, it's going to be 66 for Alpha Strike and 12 points per second, which is not very good. Not very good. And it, once you get inside here, it's 97 tons, only one ton over. So, there you have it. The easy fix is the chem lasers to regular lasers, and th then you got two ton savings for, for that alone. We'll uh, see what this contract looks like. The Exiles. Two hundred and seventy ton targeted kill. I think we're gonna go ahead and do it. Because every time I have actually had a mission in the Exile series on the planet, um, I've actually got the pilot for it. And I don't mind an extra elite pilot. I've got a lot, I don't mind an extra one. I will take all of them I can get. Especially if that actually finishes off this mission. I've talked to people who are playing through this and have also had the same level of the same difficulties I've had. You go to a planet where it says you the mission exists and there's no contracts, so there's nothing you can do. You can't launch and go get somebody, rescue anybody or do anything. It's just not possible without a contract. When did I get a Commando one B? I do not recall that. I've got entirely too many mechs. A little bit of backup and 130 tons, so I think we know the deal here. Page two, quick draw. Page two, I'm gonna put the right, right there. I'll take the extra five tons. I don't have another 60 ton mech. I had the Kentaro, decided not to repair it. Decided I wanted that XL engine. Time's coming to use it. If I gotta replay a mission, I tell you I'm gonna replay the mission. Then usually I go replay the mission in that same episode so you see exactly what I'm doing. Hmm. I'm not seeing our targets at this location. Make way to the next nav point. We might have more luck there. New target, Urban Man. Oh, uh, nope, never mind. No problem, boss. Weapons hot! Stuck in the rock. Changed my mind. I told him not to shoot it, then told him go ahead and shoot it. Tell me the ruby. Target acquired. Incoming missile. 
identified as our targets. We'll have to move on to the next nav point. Already done so, man. Already done so. Is that guy really shooting a flame or something 900 yards away? I think he was. That's why I have an LBX-10. Oh, nice flight. Look at that. Pretty guy going down, going down. Boom, on his noggin. I think they should do that more. I'd love to do a collection of those as a shorts, but I can never find them again, so I don't sit here with a pen and paper to say, you know, episode 57, 32 minutes in scan for that. That would just make sense. That's what I'd have to do to make a highlights reel. Once you've found the targeted asset, move up to it and we'll begin the recovery procedure. Looks like we're at the wrong place, Commander. Free Our staff. target must have given us a slip. Let's check out the other locations. You know the good Excellent part about find, that? Commander. Beginning recovery now. You know the what you're looking for is at the next one. All of them. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Gather up your lance and go in heavy. Really? Behind the hill, huh? Faster than us, you can't leave the bay. Actually, not faster. Than it was. Got no gun. What are you doing? Dying. Imagine this, this Atlas moving along at 64 or better. I've had Atlases that can do 71 point something, 8, whatever. Um, they can't carry as much weaponry, but fully armored, fully cooled, 71 kilometers per hour. I've got readings on all of our targets. Just all flashes free. Before more hostiles converge on your position. I'd love to have them come at me one at a time. Not uphill, that's not my favorite, but it's good for headshots, it really is. It kind of focuses the fire, doesn't it? Enemy mech incoming. There's one. Target awesome. Yes, sir. Big guy. Whoa, nice headshot. Yes, it was, like I said. Hammer here. Gosh, they're killing them before I can New even focus target, on them. Grasshopper. On the commander's target. He jumps, so I hit him in the foot.
Target and one Banshee. more. Ooh, big one. Roger. Focusing target. Yeah, that means. Headshot. Uh, Headshot. Best laser group on one, ballistics on two, and missiles on three. And if I have to, I'll put something else on four, because three for me is my space bar and four is my left alt. So in either case, it's my uh, left thumb. nothing here. I could sell that right away. So I will. Because at 200k per, that's a, that's a good uh, salvage kit. Wow, the Black Knight outperformed me in damage. And the little guys underperformed themselves in damage. I'll just say that. Especially meat with zero kills. What's that? He shot a tank once? too far away all the time? I don't get it. Okay, at this point I'm 38 minutes into this uh, episode, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here and hope the suspense brings you back for the next episode where I finish up this GTE mission and get that elite pilot. Until then, Opus out. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.